Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host Michael Manning. Welcome back to Twitch.tv slash Baron Esports. Tonight for you, we have another exciting set of Overwatch 2 between Penn State Baron, Team 2, and Yuka College. First map tonight going to be Athens. We have a King of the Hill map. That's the matter. <laughs> Just folks being goofy in the chat. <laughs> Here we are, ready to go. Baron, starting on red side. Yuka starting on blue. Interesting picks on Yuka side. Sorry, but also the newly reworked Sombra. Wonder if... Oh my gosh, an assassination performed by Nakashiki. Taking out Orisk, nice and quick. Look at serious damage, double seeing that pin off. The hack stops him. Baron trying to catch out. Kuka's, uh, I was a jumper. Kuka's tank can't quite manage it. Toxic manages to get out. The, he's caught by that ice wall though. Burnt down by Pearl. Like Shiki playing this. Evasively for pick. First destabilizing pick did so much to help Yuka with the additional push. Oris Orisk's orb takes out Boogie and Falcon batters down Nakashiki. Allowing Baron to rush in and take control of that objective. Got a junk on both sides. And Baron's base, base fruit. We, there are actually a lot of very, very good junk rats. Um, just kind of noticed that there's a lot of very talented junk rats on um, Baron's side between Pearl and Master Uguay. Ooh. Falcon is chasing down Toxic. This wood manages to catch Akashiki. He's caught what he <laughs> Baron was caught once by that Sombra. Never again. He'd be near to the ground, night of the sky. Riptar's coming out. It does connect. Dr. Gage goes in with that reckoning. I get a kill. Seth is caught out. Breaks down the wall. Trying to escape a THP left. Manages to make it to Swood. He's gonna stay alive. Pearl takes out Wabam. Wait, oh wait, Wham Bam Cam Bam. Oh, that's really good. Digs down Wham Bam. Fair to be good control the objective. Just constantly forcing you get back, forcing the switch up. Nice dodge on that rip tire. If we were all goes up. There's that captive son. Boogie takes down Swood. Agent tears through Falcon. Emperor of Baron are dropping left and right. That's gonna be a team wipe for Kuka. Being told the objective right before Baron to manage to make it to 99%. Only 93. Yo, what the? Life we just get nuts. Down goes the blizzard, catches the tank. Toxic is down. Ooh, Falcon barely misses that pin. He's hacked, caught in an awkward spot, but the rest of Baron pushes up to cover him. Pearl takes out Wham Bam. Baron captures the objective, 95%. He's gonna have to contest this. They wanna stay in the game. 99, they managed to, we're in overtime. Falcon trying to slow Toxic down as Oris gets a double. 
spinning agent to the wall not gonna make it to the point baron's going to take the first round of our first map And stick with the same comp we're seeing shake up from Yuka being Nakashiki over to that ash. Nice skates. Very cute. You gonna swap those out before we get to the gun fight. I go see what these could do. Keep just shaking it up in that flanking playstyle, opting for just a very strong front line. That's also switching over to Ash. Oh, moving over to Symmetra. Ooh, I'm seeing cover those explosions. Seth is cover those explosions. Interesting Falcon on the Roadhog. Baron looking at a bit of a pick comp here, it looks like. Nice hook. Nice hook, but even better shield from Toxic. And Bam's hanging on. Causing havoc, Pearl is down. You could capture this first, could capture this point. Playing this, playing this choke point beautifully. Falcon overcompensating a bit with that aim. Getting burnt down, there's the heal. It doesn't connect. Get so much punishment here. Wham Bam manages to catch Oris. That point control is just going up and up. Nakashiki catches Pearl on the flank. Baron isn't allowed to move. Falcon is just taking damage in this choke point the whole time. Nice body block. Nakashiki takes out Pearl Orisk. Falcon's down as well. He's getting torn apart. Pearl looking for some kind of pick here, some kind of damage. And fuel is caught by Nakashiki. He's on fire. Again, leading the charge on the flank. Ooh, there's the nano boost. The nice pick on Wham Bam. Toxic though gets on top of Oris, trying to burn him down. Oris is hanging on. The alt pop by Boogie. I mean, keep Toxic alive with that coalescence. Managed to catch Pearl on the way. Baron take control of the objective. Bakuka is just wrapping around the point. Like Shiki takes out Seth. Bob can't find his footing and falls. The rest of Baron are gonna follow him. We could capture that checkpoint. Now Baron gonna have a very tight window to regroup and move in for a final fight here. Orsk falls. Fucking moving over to Arissa. Can you pick on Wham Bam? Seth's Bob takes out Toxic. Hold on. Switch up a call might be exactly what Baron needed. Seth moving in, catching two more. And even as overtime ticks, Baron refusing to slow down. They capture this point for the first time this for the first time this round. Boogie's orb catches a pick on Orisk. Doc's getting battered by Falcon. But his backline is falling one by one. The life weaver is keeping him up, but how much longer can that last? Falcon trying to force Talk to get to the pit. Can't quite find the knock. Finished off and Baron to clear up the stragglers. That second map. Go to Kyuka. Being us up here. 
to a tiebreaker round for who gets this point. Here we go. Seeing a lot of lineup shakeups from Baron here. The Reaper Bastion comp. The Lari and a Moira on. Oh my gosh. Nice flank by Seth. And Kashiki managing to get away. No. Two HP left. Seth just can't find the kill. Bar Despite that though, the distraction's enough. Baron to manage to take control of the objective. Falcon even picks up a kill on Wham Bam. The charge. Toxic and Boogie both securing kills. Falcon trying to defend. Seth TP's in. He gets one! The, the Earth Shatter comes down! And only shots for life steal set. No, not enough. Rosen managed to take him out. Despite that, though, despite the constant output of damage by Kyuka. Baron is still holding on. Mikshiki takes out this wood. Right, let's do the nail. Nice sticky bomb doing some good damage. Now Barrier comes down and here comes Bob. Bro's getting focused by Boogie's coalescence. No one to punish him. That rip tire will pick up Falcon. No cover. Bob will take out Wood. 77% on the board. Yuka managed to take the objective. Baron could win just one more big team fight and take control of that point. They might be able to close it out. Or at least put Yuka in a very awkward spot. Every second Kyuka managed to stall for a fight though. More and more percent for them. He's Seth going for the flank. He's above. Almost has that death blossom. Waiting to move in. Bugan gets pushed back. Pearl has the lightning strike ready. Seth moving in on the back line. Bob's the death blossom to finish it off. He wipes Frozen. He wipes out Wham Bam. Already starting to capture the point. It's for him to survive and takes out Boogie. He catches Toxic with a beautiful flank. Manages to capture that objective for Baron. Once again, Nakashiki's barely going to get away from Seth. That's just trying to cause some havoc. Is that Wraith Boat? He's going to be able to get out fine. Flink does get bursted. Baron trying to play very far up to stop anybody. Make it to the objective with both supports. On Kyukas, I managed to make it. Toxic takes out Seth. Wham Bam pitches off Orisk. Baron just trying to hold the line, but they're shut down by reaching overtime. Objective falls into Kyukas' hands. This game could still go either way. Fifty percent. Baron is gonna have much time. Okay, 
good slip, push his way in. Be careful that rip tire. Nakashiki getting a big pick on Orisk. Here comes the rip tire. Death managed to take out Wham Bam. Nakashiki finishes off his wood. Falcons on the back foot. But still holding on, trying to make a difference here, trying to stall it out. Manages to get it to overtime, but nobody on Baron is going to be able to make the objective. Game one is going to go to Kuka. Putting them up. 1-0 over Baron. Beautiful play by Seth. <laughs> the patience. The Wraith mode patience. Like we're going on a next map selection hovering midtown right now Folks, good. Clear the air. All right. See, nice and easy to sort that stuff out. Our next map of the night is going to be King's Row. Also, how do everybody who's joined in now? Again, we have very exciting set. Very competitive already between Kuka and Petsy University. Kuka taking one over Barrent. Barrent on the back foot. But again, Overwatch is a fast game. We play best of fives. So the, it is entirely plausible for any kind of comeback.
train not to test me. Dang. <laughs> All right, second map of the night, King's Row. And State Baron opening on attack here. Doing once again. That Widow Tower play. Most teams end up rocking. Let's see if they can. Whoa, weird bug there. Weird visual bug with uh, Widow's rifle. That's I wonder. I wonder if Seth was seeing that. Cause that. Oh, that's weird. I really hope Seth isn't seeing that. They're going for some pot shots. The rest of Baron move in. Oh no! And Wood gets battered down by Toxic. Toxic gets finished off with that fire strike. Baron's on the back foot. Wow, very similar comps actually. Let's keep an eye looking for the kind of picks you can get. Ooh, managing to land a snipe on turret moded Bastion there and catching the headshot on Nak Nakashiki. Without a widow, that's a without a mercy, that's a big opening. For Baron, they're pushing in, trying to use that extra firepower they now have. But Toxic with a massive Earth Shatter! Just swinging back and forth. He's forced to get pulled out though. Baron manages to survive. And Shiki's managed to make it back to the fight. And Toxic getting a great charge off on Orisk. Nakashiki blows himself up with the Helix Rocket. Up four. Soon after Toxic takes out Pearl, Yuka's punching through Baron here. Push in, we're already seeing some Jacobs by the pit by the comp on Baron side. Ooh, the fire strike goes out. Pearl managed to tear apart two members. Between Toxic managed to take out Oris. Big loss. Buck is hanging on, especially thanks to that sound barrier. The thunder strike comes down. Boogie is caught. Oh no, Falcon, you did read the dash, man. I canceled the charge for safety's sake, but he read the dash. If he would have kept going, you would have caught Dagger. Sorry, that's. That's all those that's all those gears of playing Reinhardt and Overwatch 1 connect. Wow! That fire strike connects like I think he's down. Gonna have Baron snowball a bit here. We switch to payload. The card slowly starts making its way. Turret mode. The Earth Shatter. Less effective than before. There's a thunder strike from Kuka. Baron managed to avoid it, but they've got to reconvene. Toxic's barely holding on, but he is. He's not giving up yet. Toxic tries to get out. Quite next, Shiki's. He looks like it catches Seth. <laughs> Falcon carries Boogie away. Running the back line, trying to stay alive. Trying to dodge that bash. He's managing to hold on. Next, Shiki takes out Pearl, though. Causing havoc in the back line. He was potchets in anywhere he can. You know, he's waiting for Oris Ank Orisk's amp wall to come up with that attack visor. How do you have Kuka moving left a bit? Cheeky going for the flank. Get some good shots off on Seth. Forced to back off. Nice earth shatter. Akashiki trying to kill some havoc. Trying to cover his team. Both support alts come up. Seth gets a double. Frozen trying to stall. He's caught. The attack visor is popped by Nakashiki, but it's not catching anyone it needs to. Pearl gets a double, and Nakashiki's still running. Baron, meanwhile, pushing that payload. Managing to make it to that first checkpoint. Then some extra time. Pushing up the spawns. Ooh, there's the Thunderstrike coming out from Pearl. It's hanging on to the flank by Nakashiki. A fantastic Earth Shatter by Toxic. Trying to get that damage out. There's the follow-up he was waiting for. 
Wham Bam and Boogie punching through Baron. Just like that. You could have managed to take control of the game. Yeah, keep this up though. Baron. Baron still have three minutes to push this payload. I'm tossing those frags some nice chip damage in and catching a kill Biggs wood is down Be careful Falcon almost has that earth shatter Looking for an opportunity to pop it. No, but the second his shield goes down toxic gets a nice earth shatter of his own that ice wall tr That ice wall from Seth slows Kuka down a bit, but Pearl still falls as well. Nice fire strike by toxic Ah, I love all the Rye in this game. Stellar plays by both sides. Again, a beautiful hold by Kuka. Baron managed to get that payload a little bit further, but it's slowly being pushed back. I shot by Toxic. He's caught all alone. Oh my gosh, Falcon shoving his way past his opposing Ryan. Getting that beautiful earth shatter. Pearl as the firing squad just tears through the survivors. Oh, and nice shots by Seth. Doesn't want to get left behind. Still a lot of alts up on Cube's side. Game isn't over yet. Baron can't get too cocky. Well, field's going to help. Sound barrier as well. Oh, nice boob wood managed to knock Toxic out. But a huge, a huge mind from Wham Bam. Taking out two members of Baron. Pearl raining that lightning strike down on his tank, trying to cover him. Manages to take out Bob, but he's finished off. Almost to the final point. Baron have less than a minute to reconvene. They have time for one more big play. Boogie takes out Biggs Wood. Her shot doesn't really connect. Shift over to Arissa from Falcon. Trying to meet that aggression head on, but it's not enough. Ooh, another nice fire strike from Toxic to close out this round with 10 seconds left. Baron isn't going to be able to meaningly contest this or contest it at all. Nope. Gatekeepers are here. Still managed to push it a very consider considerable distance. Giving Kuka a lot to shoot for. We switch sides. Moving Baron onto defense. Let's see if they can dig their heels in a bit harder than Kuka did. Took Kuka a while. Took Kuka a while to actually find their footing. But once they did in that final objective, they were not budging. Very, very interested to see how gonna mix up in the second round you're moving around at the speed of sound yeah places to get get a fellow my rainbow i never really i never really looked outside the map everything looks so modern outside of the map that's really funny like you go to the factory so you get that part but Outside of Higgs Row, everything looks so like futuristic. Thing, another, another gold widow actually. Steve Nakashiki, make. Much of an impact in the early game as Seth did. Really? We need out. Those easy shots. 
Without a Ryan, it might be a bit easier to catch out members of Baron. Wow, we were seeing a hard push in by Toxic on Arissa. It is getting forced back as Seth here's a kill on Frozen. Forrest gets body shot. Not enough. Toxic getting ice walled out. He's still hanging on, but it's not enough. Nakashiki does manage to catch a headshot on Bigswood. It's too little, too late. The fight's already lost. Kind of surprised to see the Ramatra pick. He hasn't been seeing too much playing competitive compared to some of the other tanks. But I do always love seeing him. Such a cool character. Again, Toxic pushing so far in, trying to just manhandle Baron. And Falcon is not going to let that happen. He's forced back alongside the rest of Kyuka. Boogie falls as well. Baron, comp like rubber, very flexible. You know, nobody's nobody's specifically built for staying in one particular place. They're not breaking either. Fucking moving in, he almost has a nano swarm. Orisk's coalescence finishes off. Wham bam. Bring up the wall. Trying to meet Toxic, switch over to Sigma. It was a character we have seen a lot of. Sigma doing a considerable amount of damage. There's the amp wall. There's the the nano. No, no, no. So we're just tyrant form. Oh my God! Pearl's little sentry turret manages to catch the rip tire just barely. Sigma comes out. And there's the Nano Swarm pop. Falcon pushing in, bleeding. You could try. Oh no, no survivors. Nakashiki is not getting away. Another tank swap by Kyuka moving over to that Reinhardt that proved so effective for Toxic last round. I'm honestly surprised that wasn't the opening pick. More switches. Switch of Frozen. Over to Ana. Tyrant form. Okay, taking point. Toxic charges in! Catches a pick on Orisk right as he activates the ult. But it's not enough with their tank out of position and already down a man. Baron can swing back ferociously. Yuka is torn apart. Aaron forced them back. They have 40 seconds to capture this objective. You're going to need to make a hell of a fight. Some big ults about to come online, though. Almost have that earth shatter. No, but that pick on Wham Bam. That's going to put them in a very awkward spot. 30 seconds left. Oh no, Pearl's caught an awkward spot, but the beam is so charged up already. He tears through Toxic. Bing his way through, catching Boogie as well. Fucking harassing the survivors. Pearl is still moving in. Forcing them to run. Five seconds left. Somebody on Kuka's side has to touch that objective. They managed to make it. Frozen dies on the high ground. Kuka on the flank, causing havoc. Nakashiki is down. One by one, Kyuka falls. They're trying to contest with Boogie on that Lucio, but it's not enough. Baron managed to take that second game over Kyuka, putting us very even 1-1. One, one. We had some... I wasn't sure what the play of the game was going to be because there were some... Yeah, yeah, I guess... To give this just that beautiful get out of my way <laughs> we had some phenomenal plays throughout every one of those rounds i wasn't sure exactly where that play was going to go but that is certainly a contender beautiful stuff by everybody in that game baron really paying homage to that what were we talking about they are very good on defense side 
Yeah, it looks like we're going to call for a five-minute bathroom break, folks. That's the time. I recommend you do the same. Grab a drink, grab a snack, hit the bathroom, do whatever you got to do. But don't go away. We'll be right back as soon as folks are back and ready to go to continue this very competitive set between Penn State Baird and Cuca College right here on twitch.tv slash Baird Esports. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this very exciting set between QQ College and Penn State Baron right here on Twitch.tv slash Baron Esports. Have a bit of a guest with us for these next couple games. Get to introduce yourself. Hi, I, um, I'm Biagio. I'm the captain for Overwatch here at Penn State Baron. Yeah, the master Ugwe himself, who we've seen perform for the last couple years for Baron's Overwatch team. So... Uh, Biagio was kind enough to hop in with us for this next round, at least. Just to try and give some extra insight on what Baron might be doing as a unit. Now we have Baron opening up on the attacking side here. The very... Ooh, wow, and fantastic pick by Seth right out the gate, meeting... Meeting Boogie... Sniper to sniper, can he get a second? He's going for it. Forcing Nakashiki to back off. But it was very threatening early on, especially maps like that where the bridge is fully open. Mm -hmm. Because now they, it forces them to back off and play around this corner here. Right, he gives them free space. He might not be. Ooh, nice picks. A fantastic swing back from Kyuka, but Seth catching Boogie. Down again, that's two. Another headshot. Seth is doing an amazing job swinging this fight. And yeah, there you go. There's the, pay <laughs> There's the payoff of that pick. He might not be able to walk shoulder to shoulder with the rest of the team on the objective, but that covering fire can be more than enough. Fantastic. I was going to say, great swing by Kyuka getting a couple picks there, but Seth doing so much damage. The vision. It is exactly where they are. Toxic is trying to challenge this. He's trying to step forward to contest this point. He's, I'm afraid he's going to get torn apart if he plays too far up here. There's Blink. the amp wall. Blink Zarya and Narine is going to be really 
really difficult when they have that passion. Because mm -hmm. they're just going to work around the bubble. Ooh, that's a big Graviton, though. There's no real follow-up. Seth catches Boogie yet again and without any kind of meaningful engage. It's not going to be enough. Pearl's Lightning Strike catches two and Seth bags another. A beautiful wipe by Baron securing the first checkpoint. And moving them up. Moving up spawns. So real quick, I've been calling it Lightning Strike off of like the Black Ops 2 kill streak. What the hell is Bastion's ult called? I honestly, I don't know the actual <laughs> name for it. I do, I have so many of them memorized, and I'm like, I'm so used to tank mode that it's like I, I, I don't actually know what it's called. So I'm just gonna call it lightning strike. It is three airstrikes that you call down one after another. That's what it is in my head. Makes sense. I think it might be artillery strike. I'm not sure. Lightning strike sounds better though, so <laughs> just stick with that. Nice move up by Pearl. Yeah, just battering down. We're seeing toxic switching back over. Wow. A Oh, just a lot of dittos this round. I think Toxic moved back over to that Reinhardt that paid off so well in those first couple games. Ooh, Earth Shatter catches a few members of the back line, but Pearl is covered. Wham Bam is not. Another nice Earth Shatter, though. He catches a pick on Pearl. Toxic just causing some havoc, but Falcon's team is keeping him alive. Toxic manages to catch out Orsk. But it, I don't think it's going to be enough. Baron pushing further and further up. You got to be careful, Frozen. Not, not Kashiki. Maybe feeling a little called out. Switching over to that Widow himself. He can make half the impact that Seth has been. It'll be a nice pivot for Kyuka. One of the most difficult heroes, but she's definitely... A Ooh! One. Picks like that can just change the entire yeah, team fight. Yeah, nice pick on Wood. It's toxic. Batters down Falcon. Well, I, it messes with me how far Life Weaver's pull can get you from. He's been the source of a lot of frustration for people, but it's really powerful ability. Mm -hmm. Because they're also like stasis when he pulls them, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you cannot damage them. That's right, yeah. And it's, it's basically a Zarya bubble that just can't be destroyed until they're pulled back. Mm, okay. And it acts as a shield to everything between its hurt. Falcon switching over to the Ramatra. Ooh, and there's the Life Weaver ult. Going to keep uh, Kueka in this fight. Akuka. Toxic gets bailed out. Ooh, and that Fire Strike catches Pearl. Swinging left and right, turning this fight around. Nakashiki finishes Falcon off. Batters down Swood. Or is trying to get away? Just might be able to. Yuka playing this correctly. Just forced to respect Seth's sightline. And the second you don't, that's what happens. I think Shiki's down and there's the lightning strike from Pearl. Winging it out, trying to catch the back line. Very disjointed defense here. The back line of Yuka is very far back. Falcon stomping his way in. Doesn't have vault yet. Gets caught by that Earth Shatter, but he's not finished off. Yeah, Kyuka is just going to go for the back line, leaving Nakashiki to finish Falcon off. A beautiful wipe by Kyuka. Baron, a little over a minute left. There's something I've noticed. Um, I remember back when he was first revealed, you saw a lot of Ramatra. I kind of feel like compared to some other tanks, you, see, you don't see very much of him. Is there is there like a reason for that or am i just off on that no that's it's not wrong it's uh he's not very great in terms of right now because he's a brawling tank but reinhardt mm -hmm. just overshadows him that's fair the shield is just always there it's always a presence that you have to respect it right because you just saw there their much shield was up for six seconds Ooh, seth's already. getting a nice pick though and bam is down the nano storm is almost up one good thing Ram does have is his punches there. They do go through shields. Yeah, it's like piercing damage. Ooh, Toxic misses that charge. You can tell Falcon the way he's positioning. He's trying to find an in with that Nano Storm. Keeping a cap on the back line. Actually, can manage to take out Swood. There's the switch to Tyrant form. Forcing that Life Weaver all to be activated. It's not enough. Baron is forced back yet again. Another well fought fight. Even though Seth is still managing by pick after pick, and he, hits, he gets the contest. 
But I'm not. I, yeah, I don't think anybody on Baron is going to be able to make it. <laughs> Still, very well fought. Baron managed to make. Push that pill the majority of the distance as we switch sides. Putting Kuka on offense. Something I've noticed from Team 2 is that they do like, obviously the Reinhardt is a, a you know, safe common pick, but they do like switching it up. Um, you've seen a good little chunk of Ramacha from them, which I just, I, I like Ramacha, he's cool. Very good into Reinhardt, which is whenever he's playing against any other tanks, he'd be able to die if he can't keep up. Okay. No, that makes sense. A lot of Brawl tanks like Junker right now that he can't keep that's a character I I don't think I ever see in these games is Junker Queen. She's very difficult. She's definitely different from the other tanks. She's more related to Doomfist and since they're just very bulky guest heroes, they seem. Yeah, they want to get in, stay in this for long as possible, and then as soon as it's not safe anymore, get out. Very interestingly, we are going to see... Baron open up with that Ramatra pick. Didn't perform the last time Baron was forced to defend. It's the last round on King's Row. They were unshakable. Hopefully we'll be able to see some of that same play here now. Already some nice poke coming out from Kyuka. Dogs have been on point with those fire strikes. Ooh. Seeing the Sojourn pick from Wham Bam. Baron managed to force Kuka back a bit, playing around this choke point. Kuka throwing up that shield to try and catch some of Kuka's backline shots. It's not enough. Roxy goes for the charge. Forced to cancel. It takes some serious damage. He's still anteed. There's the sleep, but he's still alive. That'll save. That's getting burnt down, but he's in that invol. Nice ice wall. Still managed to contest, but it's about to get hairy. He, oh, almost manages to get out, but that Earth is going to catch him. Both DPS up, Baron Sider down. Boogie catches the pick on Swood. He's forced to fall back. Looks like that's going to be a pretty clean first checkpoint for Kyuka. And giving this, don't want to risk staggering those deaths too hard. A very open field. Really playing Kyuka's lineup. Oop, there's the nano boost. Okay, just charge. Is that that tire form? But Pearl's gonna batter down Toxic on the way without their tank. Falcons moving in. Pearl Sticky Bomb catches Nakashiki. That catches Boogie. The surviving members of Kyuka are forced to fall back. There are a lot of alts on both sides here. The next fight is about to be chaotic. Here it is. There's a captive sun pop by Boogie. They're trying to move in. Pops that nano swarm. Now that he's positioned perfectly on Kyuka's backline, forcing them to pop the life weaver out. Somehow Boogie managed to kill himself. But that little stumble isn't going to be enough to stop this push. You can manage to win that fight. We're sparing back. Wham Bam almost gets caught. Not quite. It's Baron's turn to defend this corner. A switch over to Winston by Falcon. That's very interesting to me. He's already very low. Wham Bam takes out Seth. Another Earth Shatter just wipes through Baron and pretty unceremoniously, that's going to be our third game of the night, it looks like. Now, Overwatch is a fast game. It is a best of five game. Well, 
Kuga is up 2-1 over Baron. It's still in the air. Yeah, that... Doc just played that Reinhardt beautifully. I'm I'm just bummed because of how nuts Seth's shot placement was that first round. There was a lot of headshots. <laughs> there. Oh yeah. Back of, <laughs> there was just like a, like a CS sniper duel happening in the middle of this game of Overwatch for half of that. Beautifully done. You can manage to take Rialto over Baron. Ooh, and it looks like our fourth map of the night is gonna be on Coliseum. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow that. I'm not gonna risk it. I, I tried a couple times. Let's get as close as you can. <laughs> okay, it looks like Baron actually do get next map pick. Very slight noise. So just as as the team captain there, um, how do you think Baron could have played that a little better? Obviously, in that first round, they they had some good momentum, but it kind of tapered off. It, it's um the way they were playing. Uh, Kayuka was playing. They were playing Ash and Sojourn. They're gonna be very spread out. The comp with May and Bastion it focused on isolating one target, which is there. But with them playing at so many angles, there's no real target isolate high ground. Okay. Like Weaver makes it difficult to focus on anyone. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Baron did end up playing that May uh, Bastion comp to much, much better outcome in the second round on King's Row. And yeah, like you said, they were just isolating members of Kuko one after another. Not even, not even gonna try. There we go. Yeah. Or however you spell it. That's right. So fourth, uh, fourth map of the night going to be our government mandated push map. We'll make it to flashpoint. <laughs> How do you feel about push as a mode? Like they've introduced a couple new modes here in Overwatch. Push. Too. Okay, I they swapped out two CP for it, and I understand why they did that, but I still preferred two CP. Mm -hmm. Push. It's just it feels like there's a lot of walking, for how much time it is that's fair they really wanted to avoid that snowballing problem the two cp so often had where like either you know um you won the first you got the first point and then nothing happened for the next seven minutes or like you just got steamrolled um which does kind of have the opposite problem where there's a little too much downtime flashpoint that's a that's a mode we haven't seen too much here on the stream but I, I don't hate it. I kind of like the idea of a much more, like, fast-paced, like, frag-heavy mode. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy it. It's nice because, like, I do enjoy the push maps because they're centered on one map. Mm -hmm. And it's just you keep going. Which I do enjoy that. And the same thing with Flashpoint is it's on the same map, just separated. Right. It's one. It's all one continuous experience. Mm -hmm. Makes it easier to... You don't have to adjust for each. Generally. You're going to play most of the... There's a few exceptions, like the Bunker Town map of high ground. Can't play with certain. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to get up and down. Me, it looks like this side is ready. Baron's still warming up. As soon as they're ready, we'll be hopping into this fourth, potentially final round. Baron's going to have to meet Kuka head on here if they want to keep going. Overwatch Team 2 has had a very nice um win loss here they did end up losing last week but every game that they've played has been very competitive one good thing they said they've got their three and one right now right. uh yes i think so everyone's they're enjoying the games even that one loss they had last week they said they still had a lot of fun that's all i'm happy about yeah that's the that's that's a lot of the important part you know See these new maps are very pretty. Yeah, all right. Reflection on the water out there. Wow. Bin, bin, bin. 
screen. We have the star of the show. I think he has a name, but I don't remember it. <laughs> all I know is wave at him and he will wave back. That's all, I <laughs> That's all that matters. Seemingly enough, we are seeing Nakashiki try and rock this Sombra again. So I'm at the very start of the first round, try and roll with it. He got a nasty pick on a support and then was immediately shut down every other time he tried to flank. Sombra is one of those heroes that people really struggle to deal with. So they will, teams will generally commit to people dealing with it. Makes sense. Just keeping an uh, eye and ear out. Wow. A, a, I've, obviously, you see Wrecking Ball when teams are like desperate to hold, but in out the gate, I don't know if I've seen a genuine like out the gate Wrecking Ball pick yet in ECAC. Definitely, a, again, he's one of the more unique tanks, but he's really difficult to fully grasp. Kind of mm -hmm. play. It's, it will probably be difficult though with the Sombra being in there. That that might put a cap on a lot of the fun. Toxic. A fire strike catching out Orisk. Pearl takes out his ditto. Wham Bam is down. He himself is caught by Boogie. I'm a fan of Wrecking Ball on these maps and maps like this and payload maps just because if you touch cart for even a second like this here, it's going to stall it for a couple seconds. Even if it's off. Oh yeah, it is It is great objective hold and just stall time. And with these bigger maps, wow. Um, it's He's a character that absolutely thrives with movement. Yeah, there's a lot. For him to Big Earth Shatter, but he... Toxic can't get much off it. The life we were all keeping Baron alive and Falcon there to tear him apart. Seth good gets a pick on Boogie. Spike gaining initial control of the point. Baron currently forcing Kuka back. Maybe I'm trying to get out. Yeah, it's a little difficult to get away from a wrecking ball. Pushing that marker up. They're gonna match Yuka's distance. We've still got plenty of pressure. Oh no, almost, Falcon almost letting that charge happen just to get the pick on Toxic. That's gonna be a big minefield forcing this far as Yuka back as he tears through Frozen. Boogie's down. Seth following up, catching out Nakashiki. You know, Pearl is going to casually push the objective. One big thing a lot of things is they'll get into engagement. <gasps> oh my gosh. Here comes the rip tire though. Getting a nice big pick on Swood. However, as important as support picks are, Toxic is down. That's going to be an even bigger loss for Kyuka. Or catches Frozen. He tears through Wham Bam. Make that three. Nakashiki's down four. Being a quick little quadra. Objective is pushed further and further. Seeing Toxic switch over to Doomfist. I'll be honest, after that last game we saw on Team One side with that terrifying Doomfist, this this character's been a little intimidating. Yeah, he's definitely you have to really focus him down just like that. As, yeah, just like that. He's also absolutely a skill ceiling character. Like you've got to put in the work to get good as Doomfist. You absolutely do. He's not he's not an aim hero like a lot of other heroes are. He focuses more almost like a fighting game. I yeah, know certain combos. Proper combo and ability usage. Knowing when and how to use all your tools. Pearl, though, is just tearing a swath through. <laughs> that kind of. You just uppercut Bob! You can switch over to Life Weaver by Kyuka. 
members of Q are just dropping left and right. Boogie is down. Snakashiki is down. Who snipes the snipers? Again, Seth's play with these ice walls have just been beautiful. Toxic trying to swing this around a bit. There's the meteor strike. There's a pick finally for Kyuka. Trying to make it two. Trying to do something to stall that objective. Gets another. Pearl is down. Wreaking havoc on the back line. Falcon managed to take out two. Bigswood just stalling for time up there. Trying to keep Falcon alive. That is return to help push that cart. Switch over to Tracer. Finally, Falcon is down. <laughs> Seth's just trying to stall for as long as possible. Still with th four and a half minutes. Baron inches away from securing this game. Now? Path is open. Kyuka have an opportunity to turn this around. Yeah, this switch over to Doomfist seems like it's working wonders for Kyuka. Causing a lot of the same havoc that Falcon has. Speaking of, Boogie finishes him off. Putting Baron at a hell of a deficit. Back to catches Orisk. Switch over to Reaper by Wham Bam. Kyuka really wants to just punch through these tanks but that zen just for now they're gonna be able to push through paul really playing him at this point i yeah. see falcon's been doing great so far so lots have moved up you can manage to make it to that second checkpoint forced to fall back Meteor Strike. Toxic using it to catch out Big's Wood. There's the Blizzard though. That Discord Orb doing so much damage. Seth is down before he can make any real difference with it. Boogie is forced to pop that Transcendence. Falcon and Pearl are still on the back foot. Orisk not far behind. There's that Tracer Bomb. Pearl still hanging on though. Falcon just gets absolutely bursted. So does Toxic. No tanks on either side. And Frozen walking into that landmine. This is Baron's opportunity. They've been given an opening to regain the momentum. Like they're going to run with it. Wood catching that pick on Boogie. At this point, they, it'd be nice to be able to push the payload the whole way. But that's not the primary win condition. Right now, all you've got to do is stall for time. A lot of the games in this mode always end up going at time. You really have a one team pushing it all the way to the end. Right. But Baron might be able to as Pearl catches Wham Bam. Bigswood finishes Toxic off. Members of Kyuka are staggering. Baron is not letting up. Falcon switching over to the Sarissa. This hyper aggressive tank. Seth finishes off Nakashiki. Again, spawns have changed. Like you were saying, even if Kyuka do manage to regain control of this, if they do manage to wipe Baron or regain control of this bot, they're not going to be immediately making progress. They're going to have to win at least one more fight as Baron makes it back to the objective. Falcon trying to force Toxic forward. Toxic dodges into that. Launcher mat still hanging on. 100 charge, but with no shields left. Caught out by once again that May Bastion comp by Pearl and Seth. And tearing a bloody path through Kyuka. Baron is going to push that payload to its finality. Bringing us to our fifth and final round. All evened up 2-2. Two, two. Moving into the tiebreaker. Yeah, Seth, shots were on point overall through that whole game. He and Falcon were just the vanguard. Both sides are doing As I did like the tracer pick from Dave. Was, so you don't really see her a lot anymore after 
Dive's fallen out of meta. So it's very it's nice to see other heroes. Mm-hmm. Seems like she can really chunk through certain tanks very well. It's funny, they picked they they got they were fighting the big circle and they had to pick they decided to pick Reaper and uh Tracer, the circle crosshair champ. <laughs> It's it's as simple as you put the circle in the circle hole and everything sorts itself out. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many? I know there's the um. You don't want to dodge. <laughs> um. How many um. Uh, flashpoint maps are there? Because I know there's the one in uh Junker Town, and then there's this one. Is it only two? I think there's three. There's they released a new one. It's it's another outdoor, more beautiful. Okay. I haven't. I can't honestly. Oh man. I know personally. I enjoyed the town one. The most. It's a lot more impressed versus yeah. Sight lines. It's a lot more of like a quakey kind of deathmatch map. Mm The Kuka, he's ready and waiting to hop into this final round, Baron. Looking some fun, getting ready to hop in themselves. All comes down to this, and Flashpoint is a game mode that seems very swingy. It seems like a game mode almost deliberately going out of its way to try and, like, separate the game from the snowball kind of identity that Overwatch typically has. Mm -hmm. A lot of the points, they're one in one or two team fights, whereas, like, control point, you'll have four. Five. Right. These points go by so fast. If one team wins twice in a row, that point is usually. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, let's just move on to the next one. Yeah, and it takes a while to get there. So even though a team might have won, like say that the team that won has five people alive, the other team has a chance to get grouped up and right. move over before the kind of gives the point. everything that, aside from ultimates, obviously, it gives everything that reset kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. Really is a pretty. Let me out. <laughs> It's a, it, is, it is nice, actually, that um, the Spectre tool here kind of lightly stops you from going through objects. Some games, like, I've been, we've been doing uh, Rainbow recently. That's a new addition to the ECAC lineup. Um, you, if you hit the free camera button, you, like, the, that game is very specifically built for you to only see certain things at certain angles. And if you, there are times where you're like, oh, yeah, let me look outside the map at this slightly heightened than player angle. Oh, none of those roofs are textured. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's very funny. All right. Wow, that's a big map. <laughs> I've I've already I've already lost everybody. It's also hectic when they're, all the spawns are changing around after each point. So right, you'll have like this point captured, then you'll be at their. Wow, next yeah, a Junker Queen pick by Falcon Baron. Really leaning into the deathmatch nature of this mode. Here comes Toxic. Wow, and punches right through Falcon. That's moving up, trying to go for the flank. Getting battered down and finished off by Nakashiki. Nice shots. Punches through Swood. It's first to three captures, right? Yeah. You could take control, stacking up percent on that first point. Like this. Very flexible lineups from both sides. Characters that aren't fully movement based, but have a lot of movement in their kit. Already. Wow. Orsk is down. That is an unfortunate pick. They have the mercy. Bigswood can mitigate that loss. Okay. Immediately switching over to the Orisa. No, no confidence in that Joker Queen pick. Moving in. You force him back. He's holding on. Here's the catch. Horus getting battered down himself. It's toxic. A very aggressive TP in by Pearl. He's in raid form, but knows the health left. The first point is going to go to Kuka. One on the board. Is it 
indicate where your point is on here? Uh, it doesn't look like it does for us. Just gonna have to see where everybody's going. <laughs> Them are named, it seems like. That is a cheeky pylon up there. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, cheeky midge. Take that out. That's a good thing with the pylon. Is it has a lot of range. Mm -hmm. People don't always utilize. Ooh, nice block by Falcon. Moving in. He has that terror surge ready. Waiting out that life bringer alt. As soon as that tree comes down. Ooh, and there's the rip tire. The captive sun. That rip tire catches both of Baron's supports. It's a huge loss. I think she's gonna clean up Falcon. Both of the DPS on Baron's side are forced to retreat. The rest of the team can't afford to stagger deaths right now. They come. Death, we over to that junk rat. Pearl sticking. Oh my gosh, Seth getting a very important pick here. Down a man. This is going to be Baron's opportunity. That's two. Frozen is also down. There's the flank by Toxic getting on top of Pearl, who is flying away. Baron managed to take control of the objective. Seth has been on point with these frags. Boogie is down. Pearl chasing them back. Baron take first control. They, okay, Baron is just on point with grenades in general this round, I guess. The lightning strike. Nice and patient. Don't want to mash it out. Does manage to get that pick on Wham Bam. Toxic is already moving in. being torn apart still hanging on though I'm tossing all the damage you can Falcon getting that pick on boogie Seth catches Nakashiki Pearl punches through toxic and <laughs> where did he go he's gone oh there he is went up <laughs> All right, Baron captures the second. I'm just getting, I'm just getting flashbacks of how this whole set's gone. First game goes, goes to Kuka. Second game goes to Baron. Third flashpoint is up. Oh, I gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it. There it is. Yep. All right, Seth on this Junkrat has proved to be incredibly impactful for Baron's lineup. Gonna have high ground here too, coming in. Nice easy shots. Toxic moving up, meeting Falcon. There's the Guardian Angel. Wait, he's up, and there's the Rip Tire, the Terra Surge. <laughs> Good goodbye. Ooh, Toxic gets a big charge off, but a three-man Rip Tire. What is going on? Toxic managed to catch a third as well. Wood picks up Pearl and Pearl dives through Toxic. I thought that fight ended like three times. Baron managed to come out the other end though. Both sides playing Joker. It's very well. He's very good for these. They're all really small together. Yeah, a lot of splash damage, a lot of cheeky ricochets people might not be expecting. Toxic, switch over to Sigma. Whole lot of burst and sustain damage. Just talking about AoE. Here we are. Going for a bit of a flank. Coalescence pop. That rip tire. Pearl's hanging on, but he's finished off. You can take a point. Wood is it's caught. Ports on both sides falling. Bam Bam gets Oris. Toxic secures that kill on Falcon. Baron very close to taking this third point. No dice. 82% falls in to hands of Kuka. 
how fast these points tick down though they should only need one more one team fight to close this out lightning strike is up going for it as seth catches a frag on wham oh my gosh seth's grenades have been on point he was hanging on Roxy gets a nice little shield there but seth finishing off two three you get forced to give this objective up putting baron on not only match but night point if they can take this next flash point they can close out the whole game And Falcon is just charging in. But going back to this side of the map. Spawn. I don't know why that one's marked. Did despite where winning that despite Baron winning that fight, both teams pretty much make it to the objective at the same time. One of the things I really do enjoy is it's a nice balance between it's fast paced with the points, but it's also oh yeah slowed down. The Sigma ult by Toxic not picking up any kills. There's the Terra Surge. Life Weaver tree is going to keep him in the game. Here's a big Riptard coming in from Wham Bam. Catches Frozen. Moving in. Boogie and Wham Bam both catch a kill on Baron's side. Baron is getting torn apart. Falcon trying to hold the line. He's finished off. Fourth objective falls into the hands of Kuka. They're spawn. They're spawn. Again, seeing a lot of shakeups here. Pearl switching over to Symmetra. I think he played Symmetra one round. No, no. He played a King's Row and it went very, very well. The, another character you do not see a lot, but who can absolutely perform if you get a grasp on them. She's very well against shield heroes. She heals herself doing damage to shields, actually. So Really? She has about 40 a second, I think. It's a noticeable amount. That's new. I do not remember that. Yeah, it was a, um, a kind of, maybe like a month or two ago. It wasn't old at all. Interesting. It's giving her some extra sustain. But if she can't get in the fight, if she's just caught around corners like Wham Bam managed to do, healing is going to be able to... Wham Bam, though, I... It, Joker, I can't do that anymore. What happened? <laughs> Wham Bam is down. This is the opening Baron may have needed. Up to moving in. Gotta be careful. The ults. Without Joker, the spam joke really opens up. Bob, Baron's forced to find cover. The Sigma ulti. So it's just trying to stick it and pop that Riptar, but it's not enough. Terra Surge doesn't catch anything. Wood, it's the revive on Pearl. Falcon is still fighting tooth and nail. That Life Weaver ult gonna keep Duke in the game. We're gonna kill Nakashiki, but it's not enough. Oof. Just like that, we are on. Which we can still swear, but yeah, just absolute. This, we are on true finals now. Final round, final game. It legitimately all comes down to this. Both teams know that. that both teams know that. That we've seen stellar play from both. Both teams have got to be feeling the pressure. Baron managed to make it a little bit faster. That's gonna try and cause as much havoc as possible. So measure ult to make it a little bit easier. Cutting the point in half it really forces the enemy team. They have to pick a side and play on it. Otherwise, you start getting split off from your healing. Falcon switching over to Zarya, hoping to catch some boon from all that tossed out splash damage. Pearl takes on Nakashiki. The Wham Bam gets wood. Ooh, there's the captive sun. Toxic is down, but that rip tire catches two. Seth gets Boogie back and forth and back and forth. The last surviving member, Falcon, manages to capture the objective as Seth gets a kill on his ditto. Bam is down. One more. 
frozen mage. Let's get out. Toxic switching over to that Junker Queen that we were promised in the very first spawn of this game. Every second Baron gets on this objective, the second closer to taking the knight home. Toxic's moving up. Pearl catches a frag on Boogie. Forced to pop that life weaver. There's the alt. Here comes the rip tire. Catches Nakashiki. Every pick here is of dire importance. 89% for Baron. Just gotta keep it up. Just gotta keep alive. Symmetra alt. That's still hanging on. It gets caught by that orb. Go lessons doing some serious damage. Bodies falling on both sides. Symmetra ult is back up. Toxic trying to fight through it. And he's caught without a tank. Duke might not have might not have the staying power. I think she could try and dive in, dive out of that point to contest as much as possible, but just like that, with a beautifully played final objective, Baron managed to take the whole night home. A very close, very competitive, very fun to watch. Three to two. In them, keep college. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have probably our longest set of Overwatch so far, but a beautifully played one by both sides. If you liked what you saw, folks, what's, first off, thank you for joining us. Um, if you liked what you saw, you can follow us right here. <laughs> no way, Banjo, stop playing Overwatch. Um, if you liked what you saw, folks, you can follow us right here on twitch.tv slash Baron Esports so you don't miss a thing. Um, and if you do end up missing a thing, you can follow us on youtube.com slash Baron Esports where all of our streams from ECAC week four forward are going to be posted as VODs along with some edited videos as those come out. Folks, thank you again for joining me. Thank you, Biagio, for joining me tonight. I really appreciate the insight. And folks, this has been Penn State Baron Esports. Please be safe, be good to each other, and have a fantastic night.